sir shankita and welcome to my youtube channel first of all wish you all a very happy new year sabko new year ki bahut sari shubhkamnaye shobai khub bhalo theko shusto theko shabdhane theko and please stay safe everyone uh, the situation is really alarming and i really wish and pray that it gets better for all of us but till then just stay safe and take great care of yourself and the people around you so moving on to today's video to is video mein aaj main baat karne wali hu regarding uh, the fee structure at the seneca residence and uh, what are the facilities that they provide uh, within that fee so without further ado let's get started so your website for going over to the residence page at seneca is senecaresidence.ca so once you go to this website you will be directed to this page of seneca residence and you will see there are a lot of tabs here right here to check out the various features and let me tell you that residence facilities are available only at the king campus and the newnham campus so you can take a virtual tour of both the campuses from this tab your room so next we come to this very important information regarding all the necessary precautions that you need to take or any queries that you might have with respect to covid-19 information so once you click here redirected to this page where you will find the answers to a lot of frequently asked questions so you can go through all the questions here and clear your doubts however i would like to bring your attention to this specific question which was a major issue at the time i moved in so the question says are the common areas kitchen study lounge and laundry rooms open so it says that uh, they might be closed or operating under reduced occupancy and that students will be permitted to bring csa approved appliances now let me tell you csa approved means that your cooking appliances have been inspected tested and certified for safe and reliable operation but when i was in the residence it wasn't allowed uh, you could not bring induction or toaster into your suite that was not permitted because of some mishap that happened here and also because of covid the common uh, kitchen was closed there was no cooking possible uh, and of course the lounges and other common spaces were also closed um but the laundry rooms were open of course and uh, they do charge extra for your laundry services it's not inclusive in the utilities now coming back to the home page if you scroll down you'll find more details about the residents so the first tab is about the fully furnished suites so once you click here you will be redirected to this page where you'll have a layout of the room that they provide and let me tell you that this is exactly the same so here is the main entrance to your room and then you have this common kitchenette and then you have a common uh, washroom and then you have these two rooms over here you are provided with a double sized bed and a study space with cabinet storage and you have a closet and uh, wifi and tv and all of the utilities are included in your uh, suite rent so you do have like i said that the residence is on the king campus and the newnham campus and you have the details of all the uh, rooms and the kitchenette and the bathroom here listed below so go through it in details and see for your preferences so next we come to this all inclusive rates and once you click here this will take you to this page so as you can see here are three listings for the residence fees however i'm talk about this particular academic year 2021 to 2022 that's from september 5th of 2021 to 23rd april of 2022 because i made the payment for this duration and i have a fair idea about this one so that's what i'm going to talk about in this video once you click here you will be given three options and let me tell you that i applied for the option 3 which was not the correct option because i later came to know that these are for only the oscp applicants and uh, oscp stands for ontario student assistance program 
and you can only qualify as an OSAP applicant only if you are a Canadian citizen or you have a PR that's a permanent resident card or you are a convention refugee or a protected person but uh, I did pay for this one and I don't know how it got approved anyway so the options that were available to me was this one and this one but I did not want to pay such a huge amount uh, because I was not sure that I'll stay till April 23 in the residence so I should have gone for this option uh, and could have paid the fees and in installment but then again I'm grateful that I went for this one because I did withdraw my stay uh, in the residence and uh, I got only 140 CAD back as refund so almost 2600 care uh, got wasted and i'm really thankful that i didn't go for this one or else i would have wasted double the amount so please take care that uh, you choose either of this option if you do not qualify as an osap applicant also take note that these two options option two and three do not let you stay in the residence during the December January break that is the winter holidays that was from 24th of December to 4th of January so here are some rules for cancellation and withdrawal so cancellations happen only if you cancel your stay before you move in the residence move into the residence and withdrawals happen after you move in after you decide that you wish to cancel your stay and that's when you do fill up a withdrawal form and you submit to the residence five days prior to your departure date. So once you've checked all your preferences, you can go back to the home page and you can apply for the residence if you wish to. So you will get two options. To, one is to apply for King Campus and one is to apply for Newnham Campus. So the King Campus provides residence facilities for only the students of King Campus. Whereas Newnham will provide residence for all the campuses. That's Newnham, Markham, York, and the King. So I did apply for this one. So once you go to this tab and then you will find this page and you have to register if you are a new applicant. And if you're an old applicant, you can just log in. Um, so that is pretty much all the details that I can tell you right now how to apply and what to look for before applying uh, at the residence of Seneca. You can have all the details listed in this tab and also you can check out some testimonials if you wish to. So here are some references. If you want to look for, you can go ahead. So that's it. So that was it and I hope it was very informative for you guys. So, this is information I share with you. This is all based on my personal experience at the residence. Although I did not stay there for very long. But I do hope that this video will help you guys in making a calculated and educated decision while booking a room at the residence and making the payment. But I would really suggest you guys to do your own research and you know check the website for regular updates because of COVID, there are a lot of rules and regulations that are always updated and always changes. So it is not necessary that the rules are now at my time. But like I showed you that uh, it's still there in the website and the norms are the same. है. So please do your own research before you make a payment because this is a huge amount that we're talking over here and uh, I hope that uh, this video was helpful for you all. So this is my first video and uh, I hope that you will feel good. So please do like, share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any queries feel free to comment in the comment section below and uh, let me know आप और किस किस टॉपिक के बारे में चाहते हैं कि मैं वीडियो बनाऊं ताकि आपको हेल्प हो एंड दैट्स इट तो टेक केयर एवरीवन एंड स्टे सेफ एंड लव यू ऑल बाय